Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the 6th episode of the 2nd season of School Rumble. And last episode, the school was rumbling because we had a school festival, culture festival, and people were there and having a good time, and it was a lot of fun. So, let's see what kind of fun, if any, we're going to have in this episode. So, let's jump on in. 3, 2, 1, cut. <laughs> I, we have our white knight Kenji, I see. And, uh... Is that Princess Tenma, by chance? Is that first for everything, my boy? <laughs> Sleeping Beauty, right. And we are the hero destined to save her. Love on the Fantuji. Wow. I mean, I like it so far from what the lights are. <laughs> you know, if you don't mind doing that for me. And somebody will have to kiss him to wake him up, you know, from a tower. <laughs> I don't think, yeah, I don't think she said a single word there. He just handed the paper and said, okay, can you do me this favor? Okay, bye. Yeah, this opening is really growing on me. I think I've said that before, but it just keeps going up for me. I love the one pose from that one girl makes it so obvious she's a basketball club member. Because it's a very specific posture that would only make sense in that context. Every school should have a nurse that beautiful. Oi. Oi. Sleeping Beast Kiss Impossible Finale. And she looks like a wonderful witch. Yay. I'm sure it is. <laughs> oh, not a bad poster. <laughs> wow, just seeing them all in costume, it's certainly interesting. I know, it's quite flattering. <laughs> Yeah, she does. Looks pretty good. <laughs> Just Tenma looks so excited. Yeah, I bet. Now for this place as great as I've heard. You set the bar pretty high, so. This straight up reading from the book. And there they are. <laughs> I'm starting to see a theme here. Oh, are those the sumo? Are sumo boys? Yep. I guess they got to shine somehow. <laughs> I mean, he does look the role very, very completely. 
Got you. Okay, does Koi. <laughs> well, that worked. Because of course it did. I mean, can't say no to that. It's hardly a fair, really. Such a high budget play. We just cut them, slice them. Yeah, much like that. Good job. Knew you could do. Oh no! Okay, it might be harder than I thought. Like friggin' Hydra heads. And it moves. It's never a good sign. <laughs> wow, what a roll. <laughs> Straight up magic knight. Ari is pretty cool in this role, I gotta say. She plays it so well, like surprisingly well. Like I I really believe she's like a prince magic knight character. Hey, there's a shot we saw earlier. <laughs> yeah, wow, he really is sleeping. I was joking. Uh, are we gonna kiss him to wake him up? Oh no. Things are moving. Uh. <laughs> Our prince, Harima. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess he has that role now. It's a role he was meant to play. So, uh, this this will be an interesting play, won't it? What? How progressive our play is? <laughs> Not even a costume. <laughs> Please don't call me that. <laughs> I guess he's impressed. Lala definitely is impressed. <laughs> what do you mean, fool you? That sounds amazing, but no, we're doing a play. Yeah, as soon as I get to just all we can do. I mean, what else could you possibly do? Kenji's already taken the role, so just gotta roll with it. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's the idea. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't bother them at all. Of course, they're going to encourage you to do so. And you know you want to, so just just admit it, Ari. I don't know. What should we do? Sword sprites. Okay. It's, it's kind of cute, actually. Wisdom. Like we have a quiz? Okay, I've heard this one before. Man, human, whatever. God damn it, Emma. Why did you answer if you didn't know it? God damn it, Emma. Why? Why did you ruin that for us? Now we have to do this handicapped. <laughs> I'm guessing that wasn't part of the script. <laughs> so we just gotta... I like what we gave her our face mask. We just gotta keep rolling with it. Just keep going forward. Can't you stay asleep? You're already dedicated to the role. At least he realizes the situation pretty quick. As expected of Kenji, our real wisdom-filled person. He should have answered that riddle. Too bad he was asleep. Prince... Tenma calling him a princess. Gotta be some mixed feelings there. Akira, stealthy. Wonder if she like amended the script to fit with this. <laughs> uh, poor Tenma. Stab! Oh no! They retaliated. Jack o lantern thing? <laughs> oh no, our princes are falling down one by one. 
Oh no, we're not doing well. Eri, you're our last hope. You're the one I have the most faith in anyway, so... You might get a kiss soon. So, prepare yourself for that. <laughs> My beautiful lady, Kenji. <laughs> nope. Very resistant for a sleeping princess. <laughs> Ouch. Pretty messed up, Kenji, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Yakima, when did you get there? Uh, well, this is awkward. If we could kiss her instead, I could, I could roll with that. Yeah, uh, what do you, what do you mean by that? I mean, she's the witch, so... The witch sleeping with a princess, what a plot twist. <laughs> uh, she can't be that tired, she just woke up. Yeah, her acting ability is not great, which is expected. You know, because she's a fairly deadpan kind of character, you know? Or mild manner speech is not a good way to put it. <laughs> Oh god, what an excuse for these two to duke it out. Uh, this is a great play, we just need to keep watching. Well, there's some real animosity in there, I think. It's a good point. Who will have the princess in the end? <laughs> Man, Ari is just so good at this role. <laughs> like they're almost kind of rooting for the witch. Oh, pfft. ow, right to the face. Uh, this is a top tier play. <laughs> I'm sorry I, I did that. Will you forgive me? I'd probably not. Talk about flames. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is no longer acting anymore. I just sort of fell into this. <laughs> I couldn't hear you over the back of music, Yakumo. That was probably important. She threw down her weapon. Did she concede? <laughs> I... Okay, I guess we have the witch princess ending. <laughs> well, damn. That is definitely unexpected. <laughs> uh, no wonder they said this was a masterpiece. I, I, I guess so. Let's see that kiss. Suki, 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 Suki. I mean, it's pretty clear what you gotta do here. And definitely not the uh, Tsukamoto he wanted to kiss, but. Yeah, you're saying, but even your sister's encouraging it <laughs> as her as her dying breath. <laughs> um, older sister prince character. Well, just don't close the curtain again. You know, if you didn't do that initially, this wouldn't have escalated at this point.
Uh, whew. Wish I was in that position. I mean, Kenji's position. Uh, oh. 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 Uh, oh. Wow. <laughs> she just literally stole it. I. I guess it doesn't matter who kisses him at the end of the day. It's just. Princess got the kiss, so. <laughs> Nobody ever expects the lady spy. Uh, <laughs> there's two girls in the back. That that was a masterpiece. Like you never knew how it was gonna end, even not until the end. Uh, <laughs> encore, encore. I don't think she ever said that. She just tried to be helpful and do her best. Thing just kind of got out of hand. I was it? I couldn't quite tell. It all happened so fast. Yeah, I mean, the fight was great. I really feel the tension between these two. Uh, Yakumo did nothing wrong. Yes, I would. I would love you too, if you mean what I think you mean. Ah, uh, oh well. Whew! I don't know about anyone else, but I'm sweating after watching that play. Yeah, not the most exciting speech ever. Uh, what do you mean exactly? I mean, that was cute, but... Oh, is there a plan here? I... Oh, okay. That sounds much better than what we were doing a second ago. Yeah, she was not kidding. This is much better. <laughs> Literally just dragged off the stage. And KO, and let's go. Just turn my volume up real quick. Yeah, we heard this song before, I'm pretty sure. Just great English all around. Now behold. <laughs> Just, yeah, full on party now. And there's Imadori. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Feel slightly bad for that girl now. This is a Simadori, you know, only kind of. <laughs> yeah, that's what matters. Yeah, it's still a little bit disappointing. I would have, she would have made a great princess, I'm sure. Oh, are you going to kiss her? <laughs> uh, hand holding. <laughs> it's might as well, I, I, I guess. Okay, slow dance time. I 
Hey, Yakima still in costume too. Can we have a sister dance, please? Probably not. You can also try dancing with her. <laughs> yeah, because you were really bothered by that. She really wasn't. I would gladly take that. <laughs> oh, wow. Prince and Witch dancing. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. No. Finally, we're actually resolving something. Wow, it's nice to see. <laughs> oh. I mean, she's Ojo Sama, of course she can dance. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a challenge. <laughs> yeah, here we go. This is all I ever really needed in this episode. <laughs> Man, the girl looks pumped. <laughs> we pan back over to Ari and Yakumo, please. <laughs> uh, as long as they're having fun, that matters. And man, this is a crazy party. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Getting pretty damn close there. That was a 10 out of 10 dance. <laughs> oh no. I was kind of wondering what's happening to Ken what, what happened to Kenji. I guess it answers that question. But yeah, if it was if I was sweating before, I'm sweating more now. I tell you what. Whew. I still would have liked the sisterly dance, but that was I'll, I'll take that. I will gladly take that. I almost don't want every day to change into that outfit. <laughs> it was a great episode. I like all joking aside, this this was a good one. <sighs> like the party just in general looked like a lot of fun. I know that sounds kinda of, kind of an obvious thing, but like I could just almost feel the excitement of it, which you don't usually in, like, any kind of party scene. So, anything left or just preview? Yeah, preview. Okay. That, uh, that was the sixth episode of School Rumble. And like I said, it was a good one. I'm not even sure what, where to start with this. Probably with the play might be the best place to start. This was the first scene, right? We had this whole Sleeping Beauty kind of play thing, you know? Like, because we had a Sleeping Beauty character, right? And a bunch of princes were trying to rescue her and all that. So, yeah, definitely Sleeping Beauty. I don't remember if they actually said it was Sleeping Beauty, but it's definitely similar enough that, I, that I'm going to call it that going forward. So, we had that. We actually had, like, these six prince characters, which is a pretty cool idea. Like, uh, Ari definitely looked the best in the outfit, for sure. Like, she just nailed that role like just she looked great in the outfit her acting was on point like it, it's hard to believe this is the first time doing this right i mean she has no joe sama you can just kind of assume she's good at a lot of things and 
Yes, this is just one of them, right? Although, <laughs> Tenma did her best, you know? Although, maybe she should have answered the wisdom question. That was probably not a great idea. I have to believe that wasn't in the script. I don't think it was. But, uh, yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of, a big six theme here. Six brave heroes, six valleys, six mountains, six, six, six. Very ominous, now that I think about it, you know? But, uh, and we also had our swimsuit sumo characters as part of the play. So that was a great addition. I liked how Aerie managed to, to handle that. And then, like, one of them just, like, playing the role of the flower and the thorns. That was, that was hilarious. That was great. But there was a lot of, like, yeah, a lot of nice little touches throughout the play. The biggest conflict, though, was uh, Kenji fell asleep on the bed. And Yakumo apparently just got stuck in the bed, too. Because, you know, everything started rolling before she could, you know get Kenji out of there, you know? So she kind of just got sucked in for the ride. Because it was just such an accidental situation, it was a little bit frustrating seeing how mad Eri got at her, but but I do get it, so... You know, I'm not gonna chastise Eri for that or anything. But it was pretty hilarious to have Kenji as our sleeping beauty, you know? Because I'm pretty sure I commented that really early in the episode when he left to go take a nap or whatever. I, I made some comment about him being like sleeping beauty, and he straight up got put into the role, so... You know, I, I won't call. I won't consider that me calling it, but it is kind of funny, funny nonetheless. So, and this play was built up a lot. You know, people were talking about it and stuff. So, my hopes were set pretty high in regards to this play. So, it was kind of a surprise that it met my expectations. You know, and even passed them. I would say, for sure. The one downside though is that yeah, Mikoto didn't get to play the princess as she clearly wanted to. That is definitely sad for sure. You know, but the play we did end up getting. You know, from the audience perspective, it was still. Overall, really great. I still hate these freaking earbuds so much. My headset, my new headset was supposed to arrive today, but it hasn't yet. I'll just refresh the page real quick to confirm that it hasn't arrived yet. Yeah, it still says arriving today by 8 p.m. It's just so frustrating. But anyway, back to what I'm actually doing. The uh, the play was great. He even had the the sword sprites, which was a nice little touch, you know? And just the fact that they showed up with this folded blade that, you know, as the audience are kind of thinking this is, like, necessary to be able to, you know, for them to save the day, right? But because of Temba's idiocy, they just went they went away. They didn't, they didn't get it at all. So that was pretty funny, too. The kind of awkward exit of that whole thing. So, but uh, another funny moment was when Eri actually went to go do the kiss because, you know, obviously Eri and Kenji, there's a very complicated relationship there. At this point, Eri still thinks that there's something going on between Yakumo and Kenji. So, you know, she's still very much Tsundere in regards to her feelings towards Kenji as well. So she's got probably a lot, a lot going on in her head in regards to this, right? So when she goes up there to do the kiss, you know, <laughs> Kenji just like closing the curtains was... Maybe the funniest thing in the episode, it might have been. <laughs> Just because she's supposed to be sleeping, right? So that shouldn't even be possible. And, you know, in Aerie, who's, of course, like, full, filled with, with pride, you know? That's got to wound her pride a bit to have someone, like, essentially reject her kiss like this. That was that was pretty great. So, uh, you know, so much for Sleeping Beauty over there. And then the whole thing with against her versus the witch, like, that was just a great little conflict there. Because, obviously, there's a lot of feelings outside of the play. You know, in the play, there are, of course, enemies, the prince versus the witch. But even outside of it, there's all this animosity, which is also being conveyed here through the combat. So that made a lot of layers to this that made it pretty interesting and pretty hilarious. Just especially Yakumo just pounded her in the face with her stick. That was great. <laughs> she was just so mad after that. It was just hilarious. The whole thing was great. Like, you could just feel the, the intensity of this battle. The audience the audience is really getting into it. The whole thing was great. <laughs> like, you could just feel the realism, too. And she whispered something to do. I don't think I ever found out exactly what she said. I don't think. And she just, you know, dropped her sword and left. So, as far as, like, endings go, it really was almost impossible to predict how things would go, you know, after a certain point. You know, nobody would possibly predict that the prince would just drop his sword and give up, right? That's pretty unexpected. And then have the witch do the kiss. That's already a pretty interesting, you know, twist on it. <laughs> and, you know, also, uh, Tenma trying to give her encouragement before she died. <laughs> that was pretty great. Also, Yakuma actually trying to call her own H on, you know. But then, you know, Yakuma wants to go do the kiss. And I wasn't sure what would happen here. I was pretty sure it would not end up happening, you know. I mean, she even said she would, like, try to fake it. So, I figured it would be, like, an air kiss or a kiss on the nose or, or something like that. Maybe a kiss on the mustache, you know. And she's feeling really feisty. But... Freaking Akira dr dropping in like a spy to steal the kiss at the last second. 
I would never, I wouldn't have predicted that. I would be shocked if any living soul predicted that. So it was a kiss on the nose, though. I couldn't quite tell initially because it went so quickly, and I didn't expect it. But she confirmed it was on the nose. Now that I'm looking at it again, it did, it is quite clearly on the nose. But <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's probably for the best because if Yakumo did it, there would be some some negative feelings from Mary for sure. So I think it is for the best that Akira do it. And but yeah, by the time the play ended, there was just the roaring audience, the cheering, the clapping, the crying. You know, everyone did their standing ovation. It was it was all great. You know, <laughs> I'm not at all interested in whiskers there, Akira. Nobody nobody believes you. <laughs> at least I don't think anybody believes you. Tenma probably would. But yeah, obviously some conflict between them. But it was I do like how we resolved that near the end of the episode, which I'll you know get into. But I'm trying to go kind of in order here of events. Uh, we had Ichijo. You know, she said something to to Imadori about the, this whole thing getting more excited, exciting. And I probably should have guessed what she meant by that, but I didn't. But they just unplugged his mic and inst and like literally dragged him off the stage, which was great. And started doing their their performance. You know. And the song is great. We heard the song before, I'm pretty sure, during the, the, the Survival Game episode, which it was used to great effect in that episode. And we got to see it here. And this is a really nice song. You know, getting everyone get all pumped up and dancing and having a good time. And Midori basically rejecting that one girl, you know, because essentially because of Ichijo, you know. So I did feel I did feel a little bit bad for her on that. Like imagine getting rejected by freaking Ichijo or Himadori. Why are their names fairly similar? I just that would've hurt. That's gotta hurt anyone. And then Mikoto got to dance with someone. Also, I'm not completely positive who also is, really. <laughs> like, uh, I may have forgotten. That might be the one guy she had a crush on initially, but otherwise I don't Otherwise, I don't know who that's supposed to be. Or why they were set up with her specifically. I, I, pro I might just be a character I'm blanking on. But it doesn't matter too much. It was clearly somebody she wanted to dance with, and that's, that's what matters. And then we had this scene between... <laughs> Between Eri and Yakumo, right? So, through an check of the episode, they've obviously been butting heads, you know, with uh, Kenji kind of at the center of that. And this was her kind of just coming over to apologize, and Eri very much, you know, accepting her apology and trying to, to, to mend things, you know, also kind of eventually clearing up the misunderstanding, essentially. So, this has actually went pretty, pretty damn positively, which was great. And, uh, who was it that I had to ask to dance? I want to check that again. Yeah, Ari. Yeah, Ari was the one that asked to dance. So, because I commented on that before, you know, after she walked up to her, I thought maybe maybe they could dance. I didn't expect it, really, but I thought it would be nice. So, you know, actually having her dance with her, you know, to really, you know, really signify the fact that they've made up here. That was great. That was just a great idea that I greatly appreciate, you know. And the dance itself was wonderful to watch. And yeah, Eric can dance, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I just, I really don't have too much to say about it, but I really, really, really appreciated the existence of that whole scene. That's pretty much the best thing I can say about it. And then everyone just having a great time dancing in the background, and then I'm so glad we cut back over to them to, you know, finish off their dance. Because it was just amazing. Their faces actually are pretty close at one point. So... Yeah, and Kenji was, you know, crucified on the roof, which is unf unfortunate for him, but, you know, people were kind of salty about certain things, so, you know, he faced some of that backlash, I guess. But yeah, just having the, that dance be kind of the climax of the episode was just the perfect way to end it, end it off, I would say, at least in my humble opinion. So, yeah, I do think that's all I got to see on the episode. I say all, but I think I said a decent amount. This was great. There were so many wonderful things that I liked about the episode. Some nice twists and surprises, and even, like I said, kind of clearing up a bit of a misunderstanding between Eri and Yakumo. Just, there was so much to love about this episode. I had a great time with it. Hopefully you had a great time with it. Hopefully my enjoyment of the episode came through my reaction. And, uh, yeah. Good stuff. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snoki and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.